going? Today is the 17th of August 2017. Just hit the M58 motorway. We're on, we're on our way to Goodison Park to watch uh, Heideck split. I hope I've said that right. As close as possible, isn't it? Um, against Everton in the uh, final qualifying round for the group stages for the uh, Europa League. As you can tell, it's a sunny day today.
splitting fans. Hopefully we'll be in a good vice. I always like the European games for the away fans and just watching the difference in, in the way that the supporting team and how we go for it. It's a long trip for them. This is going to be like their cup final. We must be expected to get knocked out. We can't be expected to win. For us, like I always say, if we score early on, take the pressure off and with us playing the first leg at home that's never the best situation is it so you want to build up a big healthy score line we don't want to concede and we want to win by two three goals ideally a four or five goal margin is absolutely putting to bed and make next week's game just a simple formality of uh, going there just keeping it tight just getting the result Get to the ground, I'm gonna start off at the program cellar. I've already got enough chocolate to last me from last week because I didn't eat it all. We'll do a tour around the ground, we'll get in, um, and then we'll do a few updates during the match, tell you about the formation that we're playing, about how we're going, who's doing what, do a halftime report, um, do the same again, show you a bit of footage from the game as we're going along, and then do a full time report on the drive, drive home a little bit on the way out with the ground and the main bit on the way home on the motorway. Anyway, so we'll pick you up at the programme set up and I'll uh, speak to you soon. So we have just arrived, 25 past 7. Fans are walking down, lovely sunny evening. Looks like it's going to be a good game. Alright, we'll pick you up when we get to the programme set Alright, so we just arrived. Programme set It's not the same guy. It's uh, a new guy that's doing it. Here are your match night program. Just one place. Programs, lads. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Today. So, uh, Cheers, mate. Programme, tonight's programme. Right, you're going to all your trains. Yeah, nice yeah, Holding it in my mouth, let me just pocket my programme. There we go, it's in my pocket now. Oh. Yeah, it's weird, uh, football on Thursday night. I have to get everything done in the day. Dead early, so I've been to the gym. Done everything basically. Pumped it out proper quick. That's what enabled me to come tonight. I drank loads of water, loads of it. I must have drank about five litres of water. 
I've had two protein shakes. But cheesy has a leap of orange in it. Because you have orange and protein. And uh, wheat protein. It's got like six litres of fluid inside me. So that should be interesting. Just had fish and beans as well. Just vacuumed that down before I, uh, before I left. And I pre-prepped my chicken beetroot salad. Same as that I did on Saturday. It's a bit busy here, isn't it? Let's not get run over. Jump to the front. There we go. So yeah, it should be interesting uh, which striker we get. Because we've been talking about a number of strikers, even Benteke. Uh, I suppose I'd have Benteke, but hopefully we'll get someone better than Benteke. I would have had Giroud, but I was listening to the Arsenal forums, listening to them, reading a few of them, and listening to the Arsenal fans, and they were saying that he misses a lot of chances. He's not one of those guys that sticks everything away. It's a bit irrelevant now. What's this guy doing here? That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm kind of glad we're not getting him anyway, but we need to get a good striker, someone that's big, tall, pacey. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be young. There was a, a guy that used to play for Blackburn Rovers, they were talking about that guy. I was a bit worried when they was uh, talking about him because he was rubbish for Blackburn. I know he's done a bit better in Italy, but uh, I'm sure we can find someone better than him, so it should be interesting. We still need a defender as well, but that's not as imperative as a striker. So it'll be an interesting couple of weeks to see who see who we get. But as that Sandro injury Sandro injury has shown, we definitely short up front. And we could probably do with a winger as well. I'd say someone out and out we can play on the left. Maybe a few loan signings would be all right, but. Uh, Still plenty of time, I'm sure there'll be one or two surprises. It should be uh, quite interesting. With it being a European game, there's no booze in the ground, so uh, the atmosphere won't be as lively <laughs> as, uh, as Saturday. And uh, But I'm sure people will still be drunk, just sneak it in. But the pubs beforehand would be uh, a lot busier. Anyway, we're on the main drag now, would you let a quick tour around, show you where we're at. So everyone's having a good drink in the, uh, before they get in the ground. Oh, it's a lovely day today. It's not amazingly warm, but the sun's out. It's a little bit windy as well. <laughs> Cheers, one. <laughs> no worries, someone that watches. I wondered how he knew my name. I thought I didn't recognise him. Yeah, man. I must have blown this. So there we go. Let's see if we can zoom down. Just have a quick check on our account because I put it in my bag. But we'll slowly cruise up. There's quite a few Rooney tops knocking around. I noticed that on the walk down. Oh my, I did a bit, I did triceps today, but I did shoulders as well, just a little bit. And, uh, shoulders are absolutely killing me now, lifting this camera above my head.
Just a win there. Looks so much better with all that stuff up there, doesn't it? Sorry, mate. Kid on the head. Just pop in the pub. It's not quite past two. I guarantee you that. Chuck a block here. Slow cruise up today. Bit of a stupid rule to not be able to sell booze inside the grass. Should be up to the club's discretion, really. It must cost the club quite a bit of money as well. Let me sell a fair few gallons. I'll definitely get my bag checked today. You for a chippy. Looks like Sandro up top there. I think we'll have missed fans on. <laughs> Almost positive. That's a cockle, it smells nice. Chinese chipping. Mm. So where we go, the main gates, park end. Just flick my eyes through. And it's finished. Fanzilla's finished for today. But we're here. Goodison Park. Home of the People's Club. Thursday night, European football. I reckon we should be trying to aim to win this. Qualify for the Champions League this way. That's why you'd be putting out a strong, strong team. It's imperative that we get through to the group stage. Absolutely imperative. <laughs> I'll have European games up until Christmas if we do. When we do, just pulling my ticket out of my pocket. That's why we're shaking. Just only. 
All right, we're in. Didn't even get checked. Just uh, I'll keep my ticket around. I'll sort that out when we get in. Look how much quieter it is because there's no booze. It's empty. Remember on Saturday, this was rammed. You couldn't even walk through it, could we? Tell you what, when we go to Manchester City on Monday, you'll see the difference in security there. You practically get strip searched. You weren't even allowed to take bottled water in. Uh, the bag searched, pocket searched, socks searched, everything searched last time. And they said no water, mate. And then I had to go in, buy buy water, and put it in a paper cup. And then as soon as I got it into the ground, they dropped it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go to the toilet, and then we'll pick you up and get back into the ground properly. He's still there, uh, he's still doing the uh, music. Still 10 minutes to go. It's literally because there's no booze inside the ground, so everyone's waiting till the last minute to come in, and there'll be a mad rush to come in. Yesterday proved a record breaking day for Everton Football Club. Oh, you're going Please look to the big screens now. Him on the uh, on the pitch. Hopefully that's what they're going to do.
second team to a couple of minutes away from uh, coming out. So what we'll do is we'll pick it up. <laughs> we'll pick it up as soon as the uh, as the teams come out. Sweet see you soon. Right, so just now. It was only 30 seconds or something like that, maybe a minute at the most. Get one guy that kind of orchestrates it. 
But anyway, we'll pick it up soon. So now they've started jumping around. This is what I love about European games. Honestly, they were literally jumping up and down. I thought the stand was going to fall down. Even watching the game, he's just there to, to cheer everyone up, coordinate it all. I wonder if the club have paid him to do it. That's a wooden stand, it's 100 years old. Oh, there we go, first attack of the game. As you can see, Morales is on the left, Rooney's up front. Maybe Klaassen's on the right. No, no, Klaassen's down the middle. Lookman, he's playing on the right. Give us a bit of pace. And then it's Gway, Schneidlin in the middle. Williams, Keane playing uh, central defence. And then it's Baines and Martina. Playing as the fullbacks. Really good fans. Anyway, we'll pick you up in a minute when I get a bit more action. Probably won't. We'll watch them keep jumping. Look at that guy, he's on one. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick you up soon. First attack. First proper attack. Got a corner off it. Morales just made this amazing run. <laughs> Morales just made this amazing run. Uh, shot across and we got a corner off it. It's exactly what we needed. First corner. That's the first proper shot. A bit wide, but you know, good start. Their crowd being so noisy has picked our crowd up. A bit of a competition. We need to score early to shut them up. Second attack. Oh. Just need to get it on target. We've had a few shots off target, we're putting them under pressure. We've got that confidence still from Saturday. It's really uh, benefiting us. Lutman looks sharp, Morales looks sharp, Rooney's playing up front. Klaassen looks like he's more suited to the central position for definite. He's got another attack here. He's had quite a few recently. Really been pushing forward. Morales playing really well. That's a poor cross by Lugman. Kept it in by Baines. This is where we miss our height. There's a corner. Just show you a quick update on these guys. We've got that guy there. There's three of them. You go watching the game, another guy there, and another guy there, and they all straight into the crowd. And they just gene everyone up. Really good tactic. So we've got a corner anyway. Morales is on the corner. The referee spotted something. Oh, it's Reese, Reese Jones. Basically. 
can't not clap, can I? Playing it in their half, which is a, is a good thing. Oh, I tell you what, that was nearly his first goal. Keep it rolling, or oh, give it away. That, that was the closest we've come to scoring, proper close. Morales kept it in, pumped it in. Again, looking dangerous when he falls into the box. Crying out for that big target, man. Okay. Okay, rolling round. Look at him, that's WWE wrestling style, trying to get him booked. Look at him still rolling. Still rolling. Go on, roll some more. He needs an ambulance, that guy. Even the referee's laughing. He is going to book him as well, no way. Watch him now, pop straight up. Oh, he's got his stretcher coming on. <laughs> so he came on the physio, kissed it better for him, and he popped straight up. He's doing his little pretend limp now. <laughs> Pretty funny that. Showmanship. I've just been knocking it around the edge of the 18-yard box. Putting the pressure on them. They're not very good going forward. They don't offer much of a threat. Top end. He should have done better with that, shouldn't he? He knows it as well. That was a good opportunity. It's coming, we're knocking on the door, that's for sure. Doing well to win the ball back. Again. He's clearly told them to stop taking the short corners. Yeah, we just need to be getting these on target. So yeah, 28 minutes in, I've eaten three fudge bars already, which is uh, means I've only got one chocolate bar left for after half time. I'm quite hungry today. It's typical, isn't it? I should have gone to the shop and bought more chocolate, but I didn't. So just have to live with it and deal with it. Another corner.
start watching the football. <laughs> Gladys Street are dying to get
close because there's a lot more of us than there is them. And I tell you what, there's a lot less dibble than everybody else. So just an update with the players, they've not gone back into the changing rooms, they just stood there waiting for it to all calm down, which it will do. Oh he's got his top off that guy now, he means business. Put his sunglasses on, the guy in the black top is his disguise. So players, players are coming back on. quite good heart if they don't get them actually coming over they just uh, stand still but they got a surprise I'll sit back there Wait till we bang a few more goals in, then they'll really get annoyed. Look here, he's got his hood on and his sunglasses. He's not done that for no reason, has he? But the thing was, they were chucking stuff at our fans. That's a bit out of order, isn't it, really? What did they think was going to happen? Alright, anyway, we'll pick you up soon. I think that's the crowd action over with for now. Kicking off, a guy came out to try and say, Really just scored, but it was offside. Well, that's where the real action is. Throwing seats, apparently. Well, there's a seat. They just can't handle the booze. They come over, had two shandies, and it's gone to the red. We're on 39 minutes. Police and battering with them sticks before they even get up to the ground. Well, there was enough mad heads in here today to uh, see to them. Got a few more double coming down.
right to the action. We've got a free kick right on the edge of the box. We should be able to do something with this. Packed a few players in. Keen scored. Might be looking for another. Got it. But it's petered out into nothing really. Got to throw in. Bit of an update on the uh, crowd situation. They've got most of the security available here, and they put them in a big line around the crowd. So that's where we're at with that. Still on the attack. Come too much free kick to them. It's half time soon. Demoralised, they know it's been getting knocked out. Not the stuffing out of them. Looks like they're quieting down now. They've realised that there's so many stewards there that it's not going to happen. Happy days, 2-0. 45 minutes go. So you've got a few police in the crowd speaking to people. Actually in the stands. Just having a word. on the wall for him. Another goal and it'll be all on for him. Right, so uh, that was an eventful uh, first half. I've not seen uh, that much action in a while. Pretty funny really. Uh, we just 
talk about the football to start with. Obviously, we carried on the confidence from the uh, from Saturday's game against Stoke. We played really well, knocking the ball around in their half, stretching them out, and playing with. Them. chicken salad that's what I'm gonna eat now um, players are just coming back out actually we'll just have a quick flip through the program so that's the program so the Chief from Everton coming up number two, Morgan Schneider, to be replaced by number 26, Tom Davis. Schneider is coming off, Tom Davis is coming on. Tom Davis has come on. That's the crowd. I think it's a straight swap, just to give him a bit of a rest. Him out. So there we go, it's been devoured. Five minutes, maybe just a little bit over. Tasty, well needed. Highly recommended to sneak your own food in, pre pepper. It. It's better than the pies, no doubt. Speak to you soon. Alright, so uh, 16 minutes in. Height split, just on the attack at the moment. Calvert-Lewin and Rooney's going to drop back a little bit and try and thread these balls through to him and just 
feed players into space and play a little bit more intelligently. You know, like we've seen in Van, we really wanted to win in this game 3 4 0. We don't want to rest on our laurels and just pull back. 2 0 is alright, but we want 3 4 0. So, we're going to hopefully score another goal and uh, pick it up soon. As regards to the crowd, they've calmed down a little bit now. They're watching the match instead of watching us. And uh, everything's returning back to normal. So, like I said, playing well, apart from that one, one, one shot on target that they, that they had when they started doing this video. And uh, besides that, I'm sure we're going to score. Uh, so, we'll do a little bit of a crowd update. Okay. As you can see, we calm down the attitude. Put, the police have sorted out the tactics. We basically got a layer of police in front of the stewards, and they just surrounded them by people in uh, luminous tops. They had staff come from Hydex Split, who said to the crowd, "Calm down, otherwise we're going to be banned from Europe." And like I was saying, the crowd, their crowd, are actually watching the game again now. There's a guy in the grey top that we're keeping an eye on. There's another guy in his hooded top. There he is with his sunglasses on. <laughs> I don't know what, what, I don't know what's going on with that guy. But um, like I said, they're watching the game again now instead of interacting with our crowd, so everything's gone back to normal. We'll pick it up when uh, we score. There's a little bit more action. As you can see, we're knocking it around there. Uh, their penalty box but we're giving it away. We'll pick it up soon. So it's picked up a little bit. Obviously shooting towards Gladys Street now. It's technically the favourite end. We normally score more goals facing Gladys Street. Malice was putting it across. I think we got a corner off it. Well, I know we got a corner off it. Oh, Ashley Lynn's just headed wide. But we started pushing up more, playing more in their half. It's definitely suited us a little bit more. It's now Calvert Lewin's come on and Rooney's dropped back. Rooney's good as a, as a central striker. It worked in the first half, but he just likes to drop back a little bit too much. And uh, in the second half, it's definitely suited us more when Calvert Lewin has come on and uh, Rooney's dropped back. As you can see there, he just has a free roll to basically do whatever he wants. Hydex split. They've had a few attacks, but it's petered out. Not really much happening for them. They had that one attack that I was telling you about before. I think really now their best option is just to shut up shop and make it so that we don't score any more goals. Because if they do concede any more goals, like I was saying, it's game over for them. They're 2-0 with another leg. It's still in the game. But if it starts, we'll start getting more goals. It rules them out, doesn't it? And uh, for us, we don't want them to score. If they get an away goal, an away goal for them would change everything. If, if they if they took 2-1, scored and it was 2-1 to us, that would be a good result for them because it would give them something to play for. If they, if they go through in a 1-0 away, which is a dangerous for us. So we just need to get that, that third and fourth goal. I'm sure it'll come soon and uh, we'll pick it up. Just a quick flick on the crowd. Just to show you what they're doing. There's a few people jumping up and down. We're in good spirits, but like I was saying, this, this tactic of, that we've got now of absolutely covering them with police seems to have uh, sorted them out. <laughs> Alright, speak to you soon. They've got a little bit of an attack on it. I can't speak a uh, language of, uh, I think it's Serbian. We just made some announcement. It's basically telling them that they're going to be kept behind for 20 minutes at the end of the game. I imagine that's what they've been told. Just to, uh, to keep everything nice and chill. But as you can see their attack is petered out to nothing. And uh, Pickford's got the ball back. He's still in good spirits. But we just need to pick up the pace a little bit. get back to where we were in the, at the end of the second half. We're giving them a little bit of space. As you can see, they're winning the ball back in dangerous areas. See, that's what, 
that's what we don't want to be doing. We don't want to be giving them space to shoot. It's all you need is a deflection, a wicked deflection, for them to score, and it changes everything. It changes the whole perspective of the match. So we've got Morales coming up here. That's strange because Morales was playing as a, a right winger. So Garner Gay just gone over and said to Garner Gay, You're on the right now, I think. I don't know. I'll see you go. Oh no, because Morales was on the left, wasn't he? Sorry. See who goes to the left. Maybe Rooney's going to go to the left. Bezic's come on just to, uh, to fill the middle of the park up because they have been getting through a little bit. I think that means we're shutting up shop and we're settling for 2 0. That's what it must mean, really. Like, like Cumin must be aware that we do not want to concede a goal. Like, that would be the, the worst thing to do, but he's got a bit of a fiery temper. Don't want him to uh, come on and get sent off straight away. I just had a flick on the uh, clock, but it's not it's not up. It's a match day picture, so I can't tell you how many minutes we're on. We're on about 70 minutes. But as you can see, it doesn't tell you how many it's on. 77 minutes, so there's only 13 minutes left. So it's a sign that we've shut up shop a little bit and that. Uh, we're happy with a 2 0 scoreline. Hopefully, we'll score again. That's what we need to do. Just to uh, just just to make it unassailable for them. Just to, to demoralise them. If we take it in this 3-0, there'll be no coming back from 2-0. There's probably still no coming back from. But it just gives them that glimmer of hope, doesn't it? Just need to get that that next goal. I'll tell you what, Michael Keane's been playing really well. I'd say he's better than John Stones. We've got a real bargain on our hands. in today's comparatively expensive world but even considering John Stones went for 50 million and we got Michael Keane for 50 million, uh, for 25 million maybe 30 with add-ons it's a good price compared to, uh, to other places this is what we don't want to do we don't want to be giving stupid free kicks away close to the edge of our box to give them like set-piece situations where they can go in and have a shot on goal. Let's just stick with this and see what happens. Well done, Pickford. So, there we go. We caught it, but it could have been dangerous. We don't want to be giving them those kind of opportunities. I just will mention this as well. Pickford has been spreading the play out really well. He did this pass for uh, Morales before, uh, before he went off. It was absolutely spot on. opportunity for us there. Anyway, we'll pick it up soon. Maybe we'll score, maybe we won't. 2-0 still a good result. We just don't want to concede. That's the uh, that's the key thing. Let's watch this cross as it comes in. On ball. Pump it in, Luckman. This is where we, we like that height, that target man, someone to, uh, to keep the ball. Pick it up soon. i tell you what, Heinrich Split have just started knocking at the door. He just had two good opportunities. Pigford's just made a good save on got a corner. He just pumps it across the box where they could have... All they needed is somebody on the end of it to get a goal. And it's a dangerous, dangerous situation for us to be in. We're on 82 minutes and we do not want to concede a goal. It's just a stupid, stupid thing to start doing. All the momentum from the first half at the end of it, it's been lost by, by, by the player substitutions that have come on. Normally Kuma, he makes good subs that change the game. But with the substitutes today, another good save there. This is what I mean, we shouldn't be allowing them shots on goal in the last 10 minutes of the game. Look at that, it's 
just got the crowd going. They can sense it. Bezik's not played for how long? Long, long time. Just looking to see where he is. He's messed our rhythm up. There's no doubt about it. Bezik, 21 areas. So he's playing down the middle of the park as like a, a stopper. But he's had like, he missed all the last season. His confidence must be down. And we've lost our room. The substitutions made us lose our rhythm. It shows you a little bit about the signings that we need to make. We need a centre forward so badly. Lugman's quite young. Tom Davis is a young guy. Bezik's still relatively young. Need to get this third goal, but most importantly, we don't want to concede. We don't want to be giving the ball away cheap like that. Because what this has done now, it's given them the motivation, it's boosted them up. So they can't actually And they're making a substitution now. And uh, yeah, we're hanging on a little bit. That's surprising. So there's two minutes left. No, it's not. There's two minutes of injury time and we've played one of them already. We've accepted that it's going to be 2 0. Got one last attack going forward here. Lost the ball, obviously, that's the end. Alright, so I'm just leaving. 2-0, the end. You told me 2-0 at the start. Before the match started, I would have took it. 2-0, when it was 2-0 at half time. Probably, uh, it should have been 3 or 4 nil. If we had that Rooney goal go in, that would have been a lot better. Um, in the second half, it was just more subdued. Substitutions, when Steigling came off, it didn't, it didn't help us. And then the other substitutions, again, it just, it, we just lost that rhythm, basically. And uh, we didn't capitalise on the uh, really good performance of the second in the first half. At least they didn't score. It puts us in a really good position for, uh, for the next game. We're almost at the group stages. And, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> all day, we do uh, a proper... Just to turn the camera around just to show you the uh, volume of people walking down this road as we, uh, as we leave. <laughs> it's so tempted to uh, get some takeaway food, but I'm not going to. I can smell that takeaway. Killing me. <laughs> right, anyway, so this this is the mad walk home. Uh, we'll pick it up properly and we'll get into the van. Right, so that was a van for one. So Peter off there. Just about to uh, hit the motorway. And the light on. Most of the action was in the um, first half. There we are, just about to get on the motorway now. Just uh, keep it a bit chill while I go around this corner, it's quite a steep corner. Just get on the uh, and the wind are up as well, I think. But, like I was saying when I came out of the van, came out of the stadium, it's not going too fast now. 2 0, I would have took 2 0. At least we didn't concede, it set us up really, really well. For, uh,
Sir Obama went beside him. Obviously, I was glad beside him, but I don't think he was as good as he is. And he's really good. He seems to have it all. If he was a little bit taller, then he'd really have it all. But his agility, his positioning, and his movement makes up for his little bit of lack of height, keeper wise. I think he's about the same height as me, so he's not, he's not small, but he's not. Six 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 four, absolutely giant size, which you don't need in a keeper. But uh, you can see why people are saying that he's going to be a uh, future England keeper. I don't think we go wrong if we put him in there. Uh, as England's number one now, it's a lot better than Joe Hart. Joe Hart's gone down the hill, hasn't he? Quite a bit. Defensively, really sound performance, really good. Apart from the last 10 minutes, where after we made the substitutions, after we, after we made the substitutions, switched off a little bit. I'm 
convention on the uh, on the way in on the van. Black for the entry. Like you say that he's torn his hamstring. But depending on how bad he's torn his hamstring, he's not going to pass a medical on any of I know that that doesn't necessarily mean that he's not going to sign for another club because he can still sign it even if he doesn't pass a medical. teams because people are talking to us about being outsiders dark horses for top four this is a sharp corner we're just coming on to the m6 just have to uh, concentrate on this but to be that to be the dark horses that people are talking about we need we need that striker for me i personally think that the best chance we've got of getting in the champions league
defender that we've got really is it's really class hands. Really pleased that we've got him. Anyway, I'd just like to say as well for all the people that came up to me today and said that they really enjoyed the video. It was, it was unexpected. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it. And, um, all the nice words and comments that people have said on, on, on the comment section and all the people who have watched the first couple of videos of the season. It was very, uh, it was unexpected, it was very humbling. And, uh, I'm, glad for, I'm glad that people like it. And, uh, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And like I said, the new video, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And please like the video because it lets other people know that it's a good video to watch. Please leave me a comment, tell me what you think. And uh, I always try and reply to every comment. I don't always carry a smartphone around with me, so I, can, I don't reply instantly sometimes, but I do reply to all the comments. And uh, the next game is Manchester City away on Monday night. I think um, a draw would be a good result. If we get a win, we get a win. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get. A, I'm, sure, I'm sure we'll get a good result. But we go in either way. Whatever happens. So uh, just like again, I'd say thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on Monday night.